and thanks for joining us. Today we're going to tell you about one of the most powerful militaries, the Spanish Armed Forces. The Spanish Armed Forces are in charge of guaranteeing the sovereignty and independence of the Kingdom of Spain, defending its territorial integrity and the constitutional order according to the functions entrusted to them by the Constitution of 1978. They're composed of the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, the Royal Guard, and the Military Emergency Unit, as well as the so-called Common Corps. Spain is one of the most militarily powerful nations of the European Union and Eurocorps, and it also occupies a prominent position in the structure of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is joined in 1982. It also has the oldest Marine Corps in the world, and the oldest permanent military units in the world, the King's Immemorial No. 1 Infantry Regiment and the Soria No. 9 Light Infantry Regiment. When it comes to the Army, the Spanish Army is the terrestrial army of the Spanish Armed Forces, responsible for land-based military operations. It's one of the oldest active armies dating back to the 15th century. The Spanish army has existed continuously since the reign of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. The oldest and largest of the three services, its mission was the defense of the peninsular Spain, the Balearic Islands and the Canary Islands, Ceuta and the Spanish islands and rocks off the northern coast of Africa. Its military expenditures include a budget of $7.6 billion, with a percentage of GDP in the 0.6% range. When it comes to manpower, it has an active personnel of 123,000, a reserve of 8,200, and 11,800,000 available. When it comes to military service, ages 18 to 26 of age for voluntary military service by a Spanish citizen or legal immigrant, two to three years obligation. Women are allowed to serve in all SAF branches, which includes combat units. There's no conscription, but Spanish government retains the right to mobilize citizens aged 19 to 25 years of age in a national emergency. Mandatory retirement of non-NCO enlisted personnel is at age 45 or 58, depending on their service length. When it comes to land forces, they have 327 tanks with 2,384 AFVs, an artillery of 245, and 102 self-propelled guns. When it comes to the Navy, the Spanish Navy is the maritime branch of the Spanish Armed Forces and one of the oldest active naval forces in the world. The Spanish Navy was responsible for a number of major historic achievements in navigation, the most famous being the voyages of Christopher Columbus to America and the first global circumnavigation by Magellan and Elcano. For several centuries, it played a crucial logistical role in the expansion and consolidation of the Spanish Empire and defended a vast trade network across the Atlantic Ocean between the Americas and Europe, 
and the Manila Galleon across the Pacific Ocean between Manila and the Americas. It features a total naval fleet of 76, which includes one aircraft carrier, 11 frigates, and three submarines. The Spanish Air Force is the aerial branch of the Spanish Armed Forces. After the death of dictator Franco in 1975 and the ensuing Spanish transition to democracy years, the organization and equipment of the Spanish Air Force was again modernized to prepare for Spain's membership to NATO in 1982. Planes like the Mirage 3 and Mirage F1 were bought from France and became the backbone of the Air Force during the 1970s and part of the 1980s. French fighters formed the Air Force's mainstay until the arrival of the American F-A-18. Spanish F-A-18s participated in the Bosnian War and the Kosovo War under NATO command, based in Aviano, Italy. Assisted by U.S. Air Force F-16s, Spanish Air Force EF-18As dropped laser-guided bombs on Bosnian Serb ammunition depots at Pale on the 25th and 26th of May in 1994. It features a total aircraft of 532, which includes 52 fighters, 86 multi-role aircrafts, 13 attack aircrafts, and 157 helicopters. to the Royal Guard. It's an independent regiment of the Spanish Armed Forces that's dedicated to the protection of the King of Spain and members of the Spanish Royal Family. It currently has a strength of 1,500 troops, and while the Guard does participate in parades and other ceremonial events, it is a fully functional combat unit. Its members are recruited from the ranks of all three branches of the Spanish Armed Forces and receive the same combat training as regular soldiers. The Guard contains a diverse mix of units, a Royal Marines company from the Navy, a paratroop company from the Air Force, and an infantry company from the Army, among others. Some units served in recent times in Afghanistan and Bosnia. The Military Emergencies Unit is a branch of the Spanish Armed Forces responsible for providing disaster relief throughout Spain, mainly and abroad if required. It is the newest branch of the Spanish Armed Forces. When it comes to missions, intervention during emergencies that have their origin in natural hazards, and among these are floods, spillovers, earthquakes, landslides, large snowstorms, and other adverse weather conditions. Intervention in fighting forest fires is also included, along with intervention during emergencies derived from technological hazards, among which are chemical, nuclear, radiological, and biological hazards. It also does intervention during emergencies as a consequence of terrorist attacks or illicit or violent acts, which includes those acts against critical infrastructures, dangerous installations, or with nuclear, biological, radiological, and chemical agents. It also does intervention during situations of environmental contamination and during any other emergency that's deemed appropriate by the Prime Minister of Spain. What did you think about this video today? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you get more videos like this one in the future. Thanks for watching.